what bike race is today? I am still gold. <laughs> what kind of a name is that? Like, French or something? Well, it's the name of a beer, actually, but, uh, yes, the race Who names is a... a race after a beer? Uh, I think it's pretty good brand association. Because if you think you know I'm the boss the and you're the worker... Climb there, um... You know why I'm the boss and you're the worker? No. Why are you the boss? Because I know the best brand association you can have is banner ads next to recycled AFP stories. Okay. With pagination. Um, are you... AFP stories with pagination. Yes, Amstel Gold. Hill after hill, uphill sprint at the end, with a new course decreasing the downtime between the last two hills of the day. The idea was to increase aggression, but until the final kilometer, it seemed like the only part of the race heating up was at the back. Big name after big name found their way onto the suffer cam. First Cadell Evans, who later bailed out with a cold, then Alejandro Valverde, followed by Peter Sagan, just a quick bathroom break, then came Maddie Breschel, who got back in touch almost immediately due to misfortune for Jurgen Vandenbroek, but who later abandoned anyway. Vandenbroek's return to the field, however, provided kilometers of entertainment, and included a comical display of moto pacing that saw his car so blatantly riding at draftable speeds that half the race caravan had to roar past to keep up with the peloton. In fact, the car-assisted chase was so slow that previously dropped riders began to latch onto it. The lotto car itself broke off the pursuit at least once to avoid official sanction, but crept cartoonishly back into the picture once the prying eyes of the race commissar were back up the road. By contrast, the front of the field remained cool, as team after team contributed to a chase slow enough that riders could spread across the road, but up-tempo enough that no one felt there was much to be gained with an attack. This was all the more remarkable because the breakaway up the road, at first blush, contained no notable riders. What could be said of the break was that they were very cooperative, that is, when they weren't getting in fist fights over pee breaks or forgetting to let each other know the fastest way through a roundabout. The break finally started to come apart at 37k to go when Romain Bardet began throwing attacks over the Lureberg. Some 10 kilometers later, he'd narrowed the leaders down to himself and Garmin's Alex Howes. And yet, the field behind remained more or less intact. A few riders tried their luck, but team after team rotated through to keep the moves in check. Until the base of the Kreuzberg at 22 kilometers to go, when BMC decided that it would drive as hard and as often as possible. Sammy Sanchez fell back into the pain cave, BMC hammered. Bardet gapped Howes briefly, BMC hammered. Edvald Boassenhagen launched a solo move, BMC hammered. Finally, by 10k to go, Bardet had detached himself from Howes, and BMC was mysteriously absent. Upon making the catch, the rest of the field didn't know precisely what to do. Vokler attacked, but thought better of it when Peter Sagan caught his wheel. The duo sat up, and of all people, Oscar Frere leapt out of the field. Frere's a sprinter. Want to know how you can tell? He keeps looking back. But his move was solidly timed, launched in a period of confusion when the team that had set pace for the last 12 kilometers was nowhere to be seen. It won him a fat 13 seconds to play with at the bottom of the final climb. Would that be enough? BMC let out the final charge, but the team had only one card left to play, Philippe Gilbert. The Belgian's been off form recently, but brought his A-game, riding all but three competitors off his wheel, though about 200 meters sooner than I think he wanted to. Peter Sagan and Enrico Gasparato surged around the soon-to-be former champion, but while Sagan put his head down, Gasparato, no stranger to the Amstel finale, took a peek to his right, decided this wasn't the moment, and hopped at the Slovak's wheel. The trio caught Frere as he made one final look back, and the third rider, Jelle Vanendert, made his move to Sagan's right. But the Astana rider had already turned on the jets and beat the Belgian to the line by an easy bike length. So, did we win the bike race today? Uh, yes, we've had a pretty remarkable run. This is like the fourth consecutive Sunday we've won a bike race. When will I see my ROI? Uh, sir? My return on investment. When do we get revenue? You're more concerned with sponsorship return than banner ad return. Revenue. Well, uh, maybe you'd like to find someone else to sue, sir. Now, that is the best idea I've heard all day.